Is your app looking boring and old-fashioned? Today, I would like to share with you two ways of creating awesome backgrounds for your Power App. My name is Leonardo Russo. I'm a Power Platform developer and instructor. And here's our intro. All right, so here we are at the Canvas app interface. And the first thing I want to show you, if you don't know, uh, and if you don't remember the size of the screen, uh, right here we are using the mobile version. Uh, a way that you can do that is by adding a object. So in this case, I'm adding a rectangle and I'm filling the, the screen. And here in the size we can see the width is 640 and the height is uh, 8136 okay that being said i want to show you how to build a background using powerpoint so for that let's open a uh, powerpoint and get this blank presentation all right let me get rid of these guys right here okay so now we have a blank screen and what we want to do is to get the dimensions to look like uh, a mobile application okay so for that we are going in design and let's change uh, the slide size using a custom slide size okay and here's the thing uh, it's asking uh, the size but mm, centimeters okay and we we actually don't know that right now but we just need to to convert and for that we have a lot of uh, websites that do that okay and all right so for the width we can see that the the width in in centimeters is almost uh, 17 centimeters so let's type right here 17. and oops the width not the height okay 17 and the height uh, let me check is 11 i don't remember 1136 1136 so it's almost 30 centimeters okay so with the 17 and height 30 all right, let's ensure fit. And now we have uh, the PowerPoint uh, screen with the same size of uh, a mobile application, okay? And now we can use our creativity to do whatever we want and start creating things. But uh, let me show you a quick way to do that. We can use these themes right here and for instance, not all of them are going to, to look good, I know, but for example, this, this one, and we can also change the, the variants, okay? So we can use the blue or the, the, the pink one. The pink one is actually uh, really good because it looks like our wraps colors, okay? So once you have everything done, uh, you can save this as a, a image so let's say as let me browse for my uh, desktop and change the name for uh, background and also let's save as a PNG oops PNG PNG save just this one all right so if we go back to our, our power apps, uh, we can now use that background. All right, so here, here we have the, the background we just created. And let's uh, change the image position for fill. All right. Okay, it's looking, looking cool, it's looking. Uh, modern 
All right, so this is the, the first way that we can create uh, a background. Of course, uh, you can use your skills, your design skills to create uh, a lot of stuff. Nice. I don't know. So this is how we're doing in PowerPoint. And now let's see how to create a, a background in uh, canvas.com. It's not canvas apps, it's canvas.com, the, the website, this one. All right. So uh, if you don't know this website, you have uh, a lot of uh, nice uh, design assets for, for creating whatever you want. And let's create uh, a, a design with a custom size. And let's use the dimensions in, in pixels, of course, with the same dimensions that we got from Power Apps. Okay, so let's create a new one. All right, so here we have a blank screen and now we can start to creating uh, awesome stuff, okay? Now, what I like the most about Canvas is that you have uh, a lot of assets, design assets for using uh, for many different purples. And so let's do a, a basic one to start with. So for instance, we can add this shape right here, the circle and let me get a nice color the pink one which we remember power apps and i don't know the, the square and we can do something like this all right let me get this a little bit down a little bit up let me duplicate this one maybe we can add a little bit of color right here and do something like this let me change this to white I don't like this one. Let me get rid of those. Okay. And let me get a little bit here. And we can add uh, as many elements as we want. So for instance, if you want to uh, place a card right here, we could do this with this little shadow uh, to the effect, okay? I don't like doing that uh, right here because uh, it's not really dynamic. If you need to change anything, you need to go back here and uh, recreate the design, export and import. So I prefer to design it uh, inside power apps okay so once we got this done let me just place uh, a little bit of, of text also and change this to amazing yeah. and All right. Oops. Let let's ungroup and get rid of this guy right here. Place it here. And there you go. We have the amazing app. And change this. I don't want full black. So let's get uh, something like this and we can now download it as a png right and import in our canvas app and 
another awesome feature that we have right here that is that we can uh, animate this so let me duplicate this the screen and now we can animate so there are uh, many different options that you can choose so let me choose this this one pen and the timing let's get for 15 and now let's download as a gif or gif i don't know how you say that and let's download the page too all right we have it downloaded so let's insert a new blank screen on power apps nice and now we can uh, insert those images right here the static one and the gif and those are in downloads right so this one is the png and now we have a background and let's insert uh, another one for the gif so we are importing and now we have a uh, animated uh, screen all right so if you remember we set the the time as 15 seconds so that animation is going to last uh, 15 seconds and do this again right so this look uh, really more fun than uh, the traditional power apps uh, out of the box design okay all right hope you enjoyed this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to leave your comments i hope your app is looking awesome right now and see you in the next video bye